Earthquake early warning is sort of what's the next, what we think of as the next generation of earthquake, real-time earthquake information. It's about very rapidly detecting the beginnings of an earthquake, assessing the hazard associated with that earthquake, and then providing people with a warning just a few seconds before the ground shakes. It's enough time to get underneath a sturdy table or get to a safe zone if you're working in a hazardous environment. It's enough time for transportation systems to start to slow and stop. So we're up at the Barley Vault, which is a, a vault that sticks into the hillside up in Strawberry Canyon up above Berkeley campus. We have an active seismometer here um, recording earthquakes from around the world. The actual sensors themselves are deep underneath this insulation, again to minimise the, uh, uh, the vibrations, increase the thermal stability of the instruments. This is an example of one of the sensors that's in, in the vault at the back. You can see it's in this glass bowl which we use to create a vacuum uh, to get all of the air so we don't have the air molecules uh, causing an effect on the, the shaking. The instrument itself is inside this metal cylinder and the instrument actually consists of three of these, one for each component of ground motion, so vertical ground motion, an east-west ground motion and a north-south uh, ground motion. The data from this streams out of these three uh, cylinders at the back of the room and into a data logger which is further down the vault where we take the analog signal, convert it into a digital signal and then we broadcast that to all of the users. So we're looking for a small group of maybe about 10 users um, that we can work with in this uh, phase two of the project. We're, we're looking for people from a broad range of, of the user environment, so perhaps from transportation systems, rail systems, road systems, airports, uh, school districts, also manufacturing facilities and other chemical facilities, for example. Um, so we can begin to get some experience of how this information can be most effectively put to use. So we're still experimenting with different ways to get the warning to people. Um, you can imagine some sort of uh, more public type warning system using internet, using cell phones, using those kinds of communication devices. But also you could have more specialized warning systems that get warnings to specific sort of expert users, if you like, such as chemical factories, hazardous machinery, train systems, where they would actually then take automated um, action to reduce the impact of earthquakes. In terms of how it would be finally implemented is, is not clear. That's part of the prototype that we're talking about is to understand what we can do, who would use it, and, and how it would be most effective to implement this. The USGS um, has a statutory responsibility for providing information about earthquake hazards, and they have expressed a willingness to provide this information if we decide to move forward to a fully um, public system.